Hey guys, welcome back to another How to Draw episode. Today we will be doing the genie from the lamp of Aladdin. Uh, of course, that uh, story is a musical now uh, on Broadway, so yeah, it's pretty much in honor of this. So today we will be doing the genie, which is by far one of the funniest characters Disney has ever done. And uh, I know, I'm sorry, I have done a few Disney characters lately. Uh, the next one will be probably a Disney character. It's just that they're always so fun to draw. They always have a certain pattern. And you gotta admit, it's just fun to draw no matter if you're a fan of Disney or not. So let's learn a little bit about the genie before we hop right into drawing. The rather impressive, long contained, but never duplicated Genie of the Lamp, making his first movie appearance in Aladdin, uh, the first Aladdin movie from Disney, and every single Aladdin Disney movie sequel since then has definitely gained a reputation as one of Disney's most funny characters, and one of the most recognizable ones as well. Today we will be drawing him for your guys' convenience and enjoyment. Alright everybody, we're going to begin. Um, so, this character is voiced by Robin Williams, one of the most iconic comedians slash voice actors slash actors in general of all time. And it, it makes sense to put a really funny character with Robin Williams. Uh, definitely the best of all time. Sorry, I did put a mark in there. So yeah, this is actually our new journal. We're going to fill up this book with a lot of drawings. Um, here's Mickey Mouse. That's the first episode. And... Uh, yeah, I was in the first one, and there's a lot of markings that don't make sense, but you can see the Mickey stuff, and yeah. So, when doing uh, a drawing of the genie, let's begin up here. I'm gonna start off with a... Sorry, I'm moving the book over. I'm gonna start off with a very light circle. Now, just know that a lot of cartoon characters that we draw uh, do start off with circles, but this is only part of his head. Uh, you'll see later on. Uh, then draw the cross, uh, have the lines bent so that it gives dimension to the character. And the first thing you're going to do is draw a little uh, dot on the center line, and then draw a little curve heading up. That's going to be his cheek. It touches the eye, and then draw an oval eye. Kind of like that. Uh, yeah, you'll notice throughout this video that I'll erase a lot, because I definitely screwed up a lot. And then uh, draw another eye. Uh, well, first, draw a little circle, which is going to be his pupil. It's not ovals, it's a pupil that is a circle, kind of like that. So, again, it might it's going to start looking weird at the start, but trust me, it'll look a lot better and a lot more like the genie as time goes on. Now, you're going to draw a line heading up from the left eye, and then curve around the circle, uh, curve it down, and then back to the circle again. I'll show you what it looks like. You can pause the video at any time. Uh, just to get caught up and the next thing we're gonna be doing is his ear now his ear is very pointy like an elf's ear You're going to begin like that and then curve it around down at the bottom um, Again, yeah, I'm gonna be erasing sorry and then draw a line heading from the kind of towards the top and of the ear and then heading down and curving like that now you're going to draw a line heading out from the nose, kind of downward towards the nose, like that. And then draw along the same pattern around, and curve it up, like that. This is going to be a smile, which is going to head below the circle, and I will erase it a little bit because it definitely didn't do well. So now you're going to draw a little line heading down. This, When it comes to a smile, the side of it is definitely a little bit more square, and his overall smile is very square. Um, you're gonna draw his top teeth. His bottom set of teeth is, uh, very, a little bit bigger than the top, uh, set of teeth. And yeah, you see, I have to redo it. But, uh, the top, uh, set of teeth is a little bit smaller. And the bottom, uh, set. And then you're going to draw his tongue in between them. See, I'm just trying to get caught up here. And I will end up redoing it again. Because it definitely didn't turn out quite as good as I expected. Then, you're going to take a line coming out from the bottom left corner of the eye, and then from the tip of the smile, bring it down, and bring a big circle down and around like that. So yeah, we took a big jump there. And that's what you're going to do for that. Make it, circ make it a little more circular. And now his eyebrows, you can just draw them any way you want. I just draw them like that. And then you're going to draw his beard, sort of. It's really small. 
You're gonna bring it down from the uh, smile around the bottom of the chin like that and then draw a little curl at the bottom like that <laughs> and then the final step is the top of his head you're going to draw I guess you could call it hair I'm not sure what it is it's a little strand right there and just bring it around like that it's pretty simple so yeah that's pretty much the first part of drawing the genie uh, as you can see I'm redoing the mouth uh, redo any parts you're going to because we're going to add a body to this. It's your choice whether you want to or not. That's why I made it really small so that we can add a body to it. So take a look at it. Make any edits you want. And I'm going to send it back down here. We're going to start the body. But I hope you like your genie head because now we're going to add the body. Stay tuned. Alright, we're going to do add a body to the genie. Now, when drawing uh, the body of the genie, just know that when you add a lamp, you gotta know how the lamp looks. And also, he is very big. Uh, I'm gonna say muscular on this one. I'm trying not to be rude. So, uh, I'm gonna have him kind of making a weird pose. I don't know. I don't know what this pose is that I'm doing. I've just uh, looked it up, and this is a pose that he's. Uh, I guess he does a little bit. Um, so, we're gonna have him. Uh, kind of facing this way So we're gonna draw a line like this you can follow what I'm doing or you can even look up your own um, uh, Drawing of uh, the genie on the internet there are plenty of them trust me So we're gonna begin with these two lines and then uh, I'm gonna take it on from here All right, so I'm just gonna keep uh, narrating from here, so I'm just gonna draw a curve right there and then from the bottom point, make it a little bit thin, and then make it widen towards the top. I'm going to make a few edits to this as time rolls on, because, again, it's just really hard to get it perfect. Uh, draw the curve, and then make it thin and thicker until you reach there. Now, you're going to draw his hand now. His thumb's kind of facing up, his fingers are facing out, and his pinky's kind of facing uh, sort of up uh, a little bit, not really. And then just draw his hand... Like that, draw a little mark on the palm. And then your shoulder, just bring it down. Uh, draw a line that indicates uh, uh, where his arm is. And then draw the little, uh, I don't know, cuffs that kind of chain him in. Then uh, you're going to draw that little mark down there. And then, just draw kind of a squiggly thing right there, which will connect him to the lamp that we'll draw later. I'm going to make him a little bit bigger right here again, erase it a little bit, but that will be the last time I'll erase that, trust me. I should know, I did this earlier. And then we're going to draw his other shoulder kind of facing, it's kind of up a little farther. And his uh, other hand is going to be out, as you can see we're reaching the side of the page a little bit. Just bring his elbow up. Again, making a lot of edits here. And up here, I'm going to screw up a little bit. Just stay tuned, you know. It's a little long. But uh, place his uh, thumb up. And his fingers are just kind of facing out. Same way as the other one. It's just we're not going to make uh, the palm curve quite as much. We're just going to put a little curve in there. And uh, put in the cuffs. As you can see, it looks a little weird like that. I have to edit it. And if you want to add the lamp, it's okay. I should have probably done a way of adding legs. But from that point down where the squiggly thing is, I don't know, the magic air, I don't know. Dr just draw legs, and his shoes are a little bit curled at the tips, just know that. So yeah, it's pretty simple actually. You could look it up if you want to. Now the handle of the lamp kind of goes in that fashion. There's a lid to it, along with a kind of diamond pattern at the top can do that and then towards the bottom draw a little oval and then have it pointing up and there you go that's your lamp and that's your genie I hope you enjoyed this guys we're gonna draw a few stars next to his hands he is one of the masters of magic in Disney and there you have it that is your genie I hope you enjoyed it again leave suggestions in the comment section below for other characters that we could draw next time. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Stay tuned for the outro.
All right, everybody, that's going to do it. Uh, it's starting to get sundown outside, and that's basically my light source is outside. So I hope you had as much fun as I did drawing the genie. Um, here's my original drawing that I originally put in my drawing journal. So, yeah, I think that one definitely turned out better. But you know what? And believe it or not, that was my first attempt. For some reason, it's always weird. I always have more luck on first attempts than I do on second, third, fourth, and then so on. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, keep watching How to Draw for more How to Draw things. Uh, fill up your journals as much as we're going to try and fill up ours with awesome drawings and just overall imagination. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.